Okay, so for the first part then, we've got to find the mode for the age in the Balmoral Hotel, which is this right hand side. The mode then being the most common, the most frequent uh, value. Now the most frequent age has to be 50 years old. You can see it occurring one, two, three, four times more than any other value. So nice easy one to start with then part A the mode or modal value is going to equal 50. Now in the next part part B then we've got to work out the quartiles the lower quartile Q1, the median Q2 and the upper quartile Q3. So let's start with the median. I always start with the median. I feel it's the easiest one to work with. So that's Q2 and we need to work out the position that it's going to be in. So we'll look at the position of Q2. Now to work out the position we need to find the total number of values that we've got, add 1 to it and divide by 2. So if you add these values up you'll find that you've got 28 values so we just do 28 then plus 1 and divide by 2. So this is the position of Q2 and it turns out that you've got 29 divided by 2 which is 14.5 so we're looking for the 14.5th value. Now obviously this falls between two values the 14th and 15th values so we just need to go into this and work out what the 14th and 15th values are. Well, if we count down or start to total some of these numbers up, you can see that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the 14th value is 50 and the 15th value is 51. So we've got to get the mean of those two values. So it's pretty obvious it's going to be 50.5 but we can say that therefore Q2 the median okay is going to be the sum of those two values 50 plus 51 all divided by 2 and as I said earlier that is clearly 50.5 so that's the median age now we've got to work out the lower and upper quartiles so for Q1 I would want to work out the position first of all. So let's have a look at the position of Q1, the lower quartile. Well, I know that the median was at 14.5, so I've got 14 values that are below the median. So I need to work out the middle of 14 numbers. So all I've got to do is do 14 plus 1 divided by 2 and that's going to be equal to the 7.5th value. Okay, so we'll just put 7.5th value. In between, in other words, the 7th and 8th values. So I've got to work out the mean of the 7th and 8th values. So therefore Q1, the lower quartile, is going to equal, well let's find out where the 7th and 8th values are coming in from the lower end then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so we're looking at 45 and 45 the mean of 45 and 45 well it's got to be 45 you just add those two together if you like and divide by 2 I'll write it in anyway just show the working although it is a bit unnecessary for this one because it's so obvious 45 and 45 divided by 2 which clearly is 45. Now we come to the upper quartile and the way that I normally do this is the same as doing the lower quartile. I had to come in 7.5 or find the 7.5th value in from the lower end so I know that the position okay, of Q3 is going to be the 7.5th value from the upper end, 7.5th value from the upper end. It's up to you whether you ride that, I most probably wouldn't have done that but there you go. So I'm looking for really the 7th and 8th values in from the upper end and where are they going to be? Let's mark them in another colour, let's just mark them in red say. 
Well, if we go in, we go one, two, three. Remember, you've got to work, work from this top end here, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got those two threes. 63 and 63. So the mean of 63 and 63 is still 63. So we can say that, therefore, Q3 equals 63. All right.